very early in the morning in my country and I thank God for the grace to be able to uh, speak to us and to pass forth a, sh a short message uh, so that we are able to pray guided, able to pray directed by the grace of God. I just want to say it is no time uh, for us to sleep and just sit back and uh, celebrate like any other person or any other people I'm talking to, uh, those of us who are lovers of the beloved nation uh, that is in the heart of God, the nation Kenya. It is no time for us to, you know, to, to relax and uh, think that everything is all right. It is no time for us to sleep. It is no time for us to, uh, you know, just just be there. It is time. Actually, I hear the Spirit of God say, the work of guarding the territories of the nation of Kenya has just begun. We thank God that he followed up his word in the nation to perform it. We have seen, uh, you know, God perfecting his agenda. I have always said, God can use any means. God can use any means to perfect his agenda to a people, to a nation. And that is exactly what we have seen him do in the nation of Kenya at this particular time. It was not easy, but we kept holding on. We kept, you know, reminding our father, uh, you know, that we are depending on him. We kept loving him. We did not get tired. And at the end of the day, our father has given us, you know, victory uh, and has given the nation of Kenya a totally new chapter in her life. And um, as, as the Lord has been speaking to us many days, uh, the map of the nation of Kenya has been raised or lifted very high, globally, right now. Uh, and this was the intention or a promise of God for the nation for many years. <coughs> Sorry, for many years. So what uh, is happening in the nation of Kenya right now is a fulfillment of what God, the nation of Kenya is his spiritual Israel. So from the physical Israel, you know, the nation of Israel that we always pray for and speak in peace in Jerusalem, the nation of Kenya is second in the heart of God. Globally, the nation of Kenya is second in the heart of God. Uh, why? Because it is a choice of God and uh, because God has an any time uh, uh, agenda uh, with the nation of Kenya. So uh, now that we all know where we are and what the Lord has done yesterday and uh, the other day, you know, I kept telling the people around me, uh, it is no time to celebrate yet. Hallelujah. It is time to work. It is no time to celebrate yet. It is time to work. The work ahead um, it is so uh, demanding. Uh, the spiritual work and the prophetic work ahead is very demanding because uh, what has happened in the nation is that God has brought the nation into a season of rebirth and we know it is 59 years down the line and uh, this season of rebirth, you know, rebirth just as birth, you know, the birthing, pro the birthing uh, you know, what we call birthing is a process. The same case applies to the rebirth you know, moment, it is also a process. So the nation has begun a, a very new process, just like the way you give birth to a baby. And, uh, you know, uh, and you see that baby there, you know, after the, the, the process of, of, of the baby coming out. And, uh, you know, uh, that's the beginning of the work, uh, you know, a, a new set of work altogether. So this one, again, is the beginning of a new set of work together. So it is not time to just sit back. It is time to fast the more. It is time to decree the more. It is time to declare the more and, uh, you know, speak to the heights and the breadth of the nation, uh, declaring uh, the will and the purpose of God, and uh, you know, uh, you know, speaking to everything and, and uh, you know, commanding things in the in the in the spiritual realm and causing things to fit in into the season of, of God with the nation of Kenya and for the nation of Kenya. So, kindly let us let us get down to work. Let us get down to work. 
you know, the Spirit of God told me yesterday, it is not over yet. It is not over yet. Just like the way you have seen our getting here has been a bone of contention. It has been a battle. You know, our getting here has been a battle as a nation. The same case, I mean, a prayer. The new Kenya, you know, how we are going to maintain the baby, my Jehovah, this new ba born baby, it is another process altogether. So, uh, as I've been telling us, I, I just came on for, for a short moment, I've been telling us, let us watch over, we are watchers, let us watch over, yes, we shall keep on watching over, hallelujah. But on the other hand, a baby has been born, you know, the rebirth process, the nation is in her season of rebirth, so the midwife thing, grace is released upon each one of us and where the assignment will call upon each one of us to be available to avail themselves let us be there by the grace of God hallelujah so why am I saying it is not over yet uh, let us keep on upholding the nation because uh, uh, if you look at the word of God uh, like now the deliverance uh, of the children of Israel from Egypt if you look at uh, you know the process you know uh, you know they encountered their, their 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 season of rebirth but what do we see we see uh, new tactics of Pharaoh to hold them back and uh, new battles you know it became a new battle uh, a ground every moment a new battle a a new design altogether hallelujah we see at the ministry uh, at the ministry of the ministration of Jesus Christ what are we seeing we are seeing different you know tactics of of uh, of, of battles, opposition, different levels uh, from the Sadducees, uh, the teachers of the law, the Pharisees, you know, new tactics altogether. Uh, if you see even how the apostles of Jesus Christ are handling it, you know, new tactics of the enemy, uh, you know, diverse uh, ways of trying to stop them. But listen to this, in all that, uh, I want us to be comforted by the word of God in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Paul is saying, you know, this is the confidence that I have, that the one who began the good work will still bring that work into accomplishment. And uh, I love what the Bible says in the book of, uh, you know, the the the, uh, the, the book of 1 John chapter, chapter 5. Hallelujah. You know, whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And, uh, you know, it over, you overcome this by, by faith. You know, the victory that uh, we, we get is by faith hallelujah so i want us to hold on there and know that the nation is you know undergoing the process of god what is happening in the nation of kenya is uh, is a holy the process of god if it is totally the process of god to be able to tarry in the presence of God and ask God, Father, how do we do it today? You know, when that something comes up or when you perceive something in the spirit, you just go back to God and ask, Father, how do we handle this? How do we go about it? Hallelujah. You know, uh, Prophet Isaiah in the book of Isaiah 66, you know, he's showing us something very profound that, you know, uh, God cannot bring up a, a woman to a season of giving birth and then deny that woman, you know, the, the strength to give but hallelujah those two things work together so i want us to have confidence in the name of the lord our god let us not put our confidence in any man i have always said men can change Today they can be this way, then tomorrow they are something else. So we are upholding this baby in the presence of God and we are installing, you know, the purposes of God in our season of rebirth. Everything as far as the nation of Kenya is concerned, we are installing the purposes of God and we are speaking to all the seven mountains of influence and we are commanding everything to fit in to the purposes of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us... Uh, arise and even take charge of the swearing day that's inauguration day or the, the, the Tuesday 13th. Let us take charge of that day. Let us take charge of every activity. Let us take charge of, of the guests that will come from other nations. Let us take charge of every person who will gather in that in that crowd. Let us take charge of all the guests that take charge of the foods that will be eaten. Let us take charge of the waters that will be drunk. Let us take, take charge of everything that will go on. Let us rule and reign where we are, from where we are seated with the Christ never places over the affairs of men in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. This is a baby that has been born through prayer and by prayer.
prayer. And this baby is going to be maintained by prayer by all means. Hallelujah. This baby will be maintained in the presence of God and by the presence of God by all means in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, for, for, the, for, for the past a uh, few days or few hours I've been hearing in the spirit you know the spirit of Gibeonites uh, Joshua chapter 9 you know uh, you know these people after uh, you know coming to Joshua the man of God they came in pretense they came in pretense and um, the man of God our president and the, 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 the government uh, you know that has been born from a place of prayer you know, they must be surrounded by the right counsel. They must be surrounded by the right prophetic voices. Hallelujah. So what do we see? These people are pretending. They even came with their, you know, tattered, tattered or torn clothes, you know. And they were pretending to be hungry. You remember the story. But they, 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 they pretended, you know, so that they can enter into a covenant, you know, with, with Joshua and be a partaker, you know, of, of what was going on in the in the lives of the children of God. Hallelujah. So uh, this is it. There are people who are coming up and there are others on the way coming up and uh, they are pretending or to be who they are not, you know, to be who they are not, you know, and uh, they, 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 they will look for the, for, for, for the king and the government of the day uh, with the pretense and they, they will come and even make some treaties and some uh, you know some some covenants and some agreements they will sign some documentations so uh, they, they, are, they are coming on an agenda so by the time you know uh, people realize who they are it may be too late so that's why I'm saying we need to take charge of this and uproot that which is not supposed to be around the king of the day we we, we, we surround him with the right counsel you know, uh, you know, I, I, where I'm seated, I'm here in the spirit of Ahithophel. We know what Ahithophel did. Hallelujah. He sat by the gate. You know, he's able to conspire against the king, you know, and, um, you know, and, and because he's a... Uh, He's aware of everything about the king. He's able to conspire and uh, win the hearts of people and, uh, you know, conspire. Hallelujah. But what do we see? Again, I mean, what do we see? At the end of the day, God is turning the conspiracy of Ahithophel into foolishness. Hallelujah. So we need to take charge of some of these spirits and, and uh, anything the Lord will keep on revealing to us, we need to take charge and we, we need to, uh, to take charge of the nation, take charge of every activity, take charge of every decision using the word of God in the book of Colossians chapter 3 that whatever will be said and done in the nation of Kenya right now it has to be done or said in the name of the Lord our God hallelujah that is a foundation that has uh, that has brought us this far uh, that is a foundation we are resting on you know and it has to be maintained there by all means in the name of Jesus we, we are stopping them by the gate we are stopping them by the gate uh, we are stopping them by the gate. We are we are uh, exposing every conspiracy of the enemy in the land of Kenya, and we are declaring uh, the nation is shielded by the word of God. Hallelujah! Because the word of God is over the nation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! So let us remain very alert in the spirit, and let us take charge of everything. Everything. You know, we are very grateful that as God promised us a peaceful election, it has come to pass. The God say there will be no blood shed, there will be no, you know, running battles, there will be no deaths. Imagine even a, a Supreme Court has given the verdict, nobody has died because of politics, people have come back to work. This can only be the arm of the Lord, hallelujah. And everybody should see that the Lord has done and uh, uh, is working something over the nation of Kenya or with the nation of Kenya. So let us take charge. I came on board to remind us it is no time to sleep. The baby has been born on. The nation is in her season of rebirth, and we are maintaining this from a place of prayer and in a place of prayer because this baby has been born through prayer. Hallelujah. You even heard what the president said. Uh, he, he has been prayed through. Hallelujah. It's not because of his goodness or his might or power, but it's because of prayer. So this one we must maintain in a place of prayer by all means. Kaidre, don't just sleep and celebrate. Kaidre, arise. Let us take charge 
of the nation. Let us look the nation, uh, you know, in a place of prayer. Maintain the newborn baby in a place of prayer, and let us, uh, you know, uh, bring forth the counsel of God in our state house in every seven mountains of influence. Let us do that by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I was saying, new levels, new demons. So uh, Satan is still strategizing when you, when you think he has covered up his head and he's down there. I actually was feeling in the spirit, you know, I, I could hear in the spirit of God at our towards morning hours before I came on board that there are people who are very bitter. There are people who are very bitter. They are suffering in bitterness, in silence. So let us pray for all those souls. Let us pray for all those hearts. Let us install the purposes of God in the hearts of every citizen in this nation. Let us install the purposes of God in our state house. You know, God has enabled us to bring down the Asian the traditions of our forefathers, the praise of Abbe, you know, that, that Asian goddess, you know, those foundations I have crumbled down. Hallelujah. So we are not taking anything to chance. We are not leaving any loophole. We are not giving Satan any foothold. Hallelujah. We are shielding our nation. We are taking charge of our nation. We give God all the glory. Imagine in all this, our children are still continuing with their learning. This can only be God. Hallelujah. This can only be God. The Prince of Peace has taken over the nation of Kenya. So we maintain the nation in his presence. Let us, if you are able to join up with me every morning uh, from, from 5, uh, 4, 4, 4, 4, 45 a.m. in the morning, uh, you know, we, we arise for one hour, 45 minutes or so. Let us arise in the morning on Facebook Live. Let us arise and just speak to God and take charge of the nation. You know, let, let us just give God the nation. Let us just allow him to uh, be coming on Facebook Live just to, you know, to lead us, you know, let us sacrifice our sleep. It calls for sacrifice. It is It calls for work. Let us arise and work and maintain the nation in the presence of God in the name of Jesus. We are taking charge of every head of state from other nations who, who wants to come to the inauguration of our president on the 13th. We are taking charge of every ambassador. We are taking charge of every guest. We are taking charge of everybody who attend that function. We are not leaving anything to chance. We are taking charge of every appointment our president will do, that everybody who will come on board is, is that person that God has ordained. Because let me tell you, my brethren, if anybody will be appointed at it, and it is not the will of God, God will still clear them from the way. Because let me tell you the truth, what is happening in the nation of Kenya right now, it's not the heart of any man. It is the arm of the Lord. Hallelujah. So so let us pray that the king will do the appointment, not because he promised, but because it is led of God. I am also praying because I was hearing the spirit of God, you know, before I came on board, uh, that it is time for the king to work with the prophet, just as it was, you know, for David, for, for Saul. You know, remember Samuel, uh, you know, the prophet, and, uh, you know, remember uh, Elijah, the prophet, and with the kings of the day. So it is time for, for, for the nation of Kenya. Uh, to work with, you know, the government to work uh, with the church. Yeah, may the Lord surround the king of the day with true prophetic voices, people who are not, uh, you know, who are not there just for their berries, but people who are being used of God, people who are seers, people who can hear the voice of God, people who can uh, genuinely intercede in our state house everywhere, because this one has to be maintained in a place of an uh, intercessory altar whose fire will keep on burning. 24 7 by the grace of god hallelujah so let us let us install the purposes of god in the nation by all means so kindly my brethren let us not sleep let us arise and work you may not be able to do much but you can wake up with me uh, on facebook live on my on my on my page uh, you can wake up with me every morning let us arise and take charge of the nation particularly from uh, this uh, this few days 
uh, from now up to Tuesday, you know, from now up to Tuesday, uh, that that attend during the inauguration, and uh, for, from from the month of September up to the end of this year, you know, uh, it, I'm, I'm, I don't want to, uh, to let us know that things are going to be easy. They are not going to be easy because Satan is also not asleep. The spirit of God told me yesterday he is back to the drawing board and is strategizing the way forward. So let us arise and encounter this by the grace of God, by the word of God, and let us take charge of the nation by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One thing I want to assure us as I began, I'm finishing Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Hallelujah. This one has been begun by the Lord. This one is good work that God has begun and he will still bring it into accomplishment in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This one nobody can sabotage, nobody can cause a steel bird, nobody can cause a diversion, nobody can cause a destruction, nobody can cause, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, whatever, you know, diversion, destruction, and diversion. Nobody can do that because God is at work for his own purposes over the nation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you. Let us see you tomorrow. Uh, we began today prayers on Zoom. Uh, uh, I felt in my spirit we take it to Facebook where everybody can access because some people even don't have the Zoom. So from 4.45 to around 6 there we shall be uh, taking charge of the nation live on Facebook and uh, let us team up together and uh, because many people are not connected let us team up on the platform that where many people can uh, you know can access in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I wanted to pass for that word. Uh, let us let us take charge. Let us install the purposes of God in the nation. In the name of Jesus. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow by the grace of God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Carol, for encouraging me. Always God bless you so much. I'm encouraged. Keep on praying for me. What I need from you, brethren, is your prayers. Keep on praying for me. Amen. It's, we are just on assignment by the grace of God. It's a calling. So keep on praying for us in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you.